And good morning, Congress. We'll be back at it once again today, searching for a solution to reopen the government as the shutdown enters a second day. Rhetoric a ratcheting up from leaders in both parties this morning with no signs of compromise. Democrats are pressing President Trump to protect so-called dreamers from deportation. But Republicans and the White House want to focus solely on passing a spending bill. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is saying one way or another, a vote to end this stalemate will happen early Monday morning. Joining me right now is Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri. He's the vice chairman of the Senate Republican Conference. He's also a member of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Senator, it's good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Very nice to be with you. Can you tell us where we stand? Well, I really can't. I think, uh, I actually, I think that uh, Senator Schumer has managed to take a uh, issue that Republicans have never handled very well in the past and own it. Uh, this is the Schumer shutdown. This is, there is no reason for uh, this to have occurred. And one of the lessons here is we need to get back to where we d openly debate these appropriations bills and get them to the president's desk one or two at a time, rather than every year have this, uh, this issue that frankly empowers uh, the minority leader in ways that uh, shouldn't happen. Uh, he made a decision here that he was going to have a shutdown over an issue that is clearly solvable, that has nothing to do with appropriations uh, and frankly they own it yeah well, well, well I think you make a really good point I mean living by uh, continuing resolutions is obviously not sustainable and not what anybody wants how do you get there well, you know, the Appropriations Committee it gets its works done and has these bills ready. Even a couple of years ago when Barbara Mikulski was the Democrat chairman of the Appropriations Committee, uh, she over and over again went to Senator Reid and said, get these bills on the floor. Let the other members be part of this debate. Let's get them on, uh, at that time, President Obama's desk. And I was for that. I was for having that open process. Still am. Uh, we have been dragging through the nominations uh, process in a way where Democrats over and over again in the Senate have required 30 hours of debate on the president's nominees that would then get 90 votes or easily pass, sometimes with as many as 90 votes. And by the way, Maria, no debate. So just a stall tactic that prevents us from getting to other issues like DACA on the floor or like community health centers on the floor or like CHIP on the floor. Now we're down to where uh, Republicans have a bill that no Dem that Democrats don't oppose anything in the bill, at least a majority of Democrats don't. And and they've decided to use that as the effort to get a, a, an unrelated piece of legislation and not just get a debate on it, but they want it on a must-pass bill. That, that's not the way to legislate. First right. of all, you don't get everything you want on a bill that everybody else has to vote for. Uh, and uh, it, it's an it's a untenable position. I don't think that the Democrats can sustain it very much longer. So are they just doing this to make a big stink one year after the president's the first year in office? Uh, on the day to, to create some chaos so that we're not talking about what you've already done and the progress you've already had and this White House has had, but more about the chaos going on and a government shutdown? I mean, do they just not want to see government open right now? You know, I really can't can't figure out what their motivation might be. I suppose that could be it, but clearly the country would be better off and the Congress would be better off if we've been talking about what we have gotten done, uh, what's happening in the economy. In the economy is extraordinary. Companies decided to bring money that they earned in other countries back to the United States of America and to do it not uh, using the whole time that was available to them, but to go ahead and pay uh, big tax amounts to our country so they can get that money back here in an economy where the regulators are no longer out of control, where judges are more likely to determine what the law says as we put more and more uh, conservative judges on the court, uh, and where the tax policy is clearly a tax policy that makes the United States a place to want to invest money and see this economy grow. What we've seen with companies reaching out to their employees already and saying, in a growing economy, we want to show you more ways that we value 
value you. Those are all the things that maybe the Democrats don't want to talk about, but certainly every American should want to be talking about yeah. opportunity. Uh, the American people really need to understand what's happening with the military right now. I mean, speaking with generals earlier, they're saying, look, this is very much still Obama's military. I mean, when you consider the fact that we're four months into the fiscal year 18, the government is still living on a continuing resolution. Military is 50 percent of its aircraft down for maintenance because of a lack of spare parts. Pilots flying less than half of the flying hours required to maintain proficiency. Mishaps are spiking. Five of the Army's 58 brigades are ready for, com are, are ready for combat. Five out of 58. And the military cannot grow as it remains the smallest in 75 years. Can you tell us what that means about the practical state of our military today and how you're going to get out of these continuing resolutions and increase and, and lift these budgets that are in place? Well, I'm on the Senate Intelligence Committee where we, we look at our, our threats around the world uh, every single day of the uh, when we're here in Washington. I'm on the Defense Appropriating Committee. Uh, and what you're saying, what you're repeating of what they're saying uh, is exactly right. And the big obstacle right now, the reason we have a continuing resolution debate rather than a less fund the government like we'd fund it this year debate uh, is we, we foolishly can't come up with a number that accomplishes uh, what we need to do to defend the country uh, and then whatever the Democrats insist on on the other side of the spending ledger uh, to allow that to go forward. You know, this, I hear this uh, constantly. Well, the Democrats control, the Republicans control all three branches of government. Uh, Republicans under our system have to have some Democrat cooperation to move forward in the Senate unless you have 60 senators, and we don't have that now. And uh, there are Democrats who clearly understand these defense priorities want to help us get there. I, I suspect they're as frustrated as I am uh, that uh, their leader is not coming up with a serious debate about what those spending numbers look like rather than how long we're going to go between now and the time we really have a real debate on how we should be spending our money this year rather than whether we're going to continue to spend our money like we spent it last year. Meanwhile, there's the near-term issue of getting this government open again. What are your expectations for this next 1 a.m. vote tonight? Well, I didn't have anything else scheduled at 1 a.m. tonight, so I'll be there today during the day, and I will be there uh, tonight. I, I don't think the Democrats can sustain this much longer. They, are, they have clearly uh, brought an issue that it should have an easy uh, conclusion. Seventy percent plus of the American people, uh, along with me, agree that these DACA kids, unless they've gotten in some huge amount of trouble, should be able to stay here. But 70 percent of the American people also agree uh, that the border needs more control and immigration needs more control. That should be easily negotiated by a Congress and a minority that wanted to function. Uh, we're not seeing that happen. I think uh, we'll get through this uh, pretty quickly. And if we don't, uh, the blame is clearly a place where the blame deserves to be. You don't deal with these issues by forcing keeping the government open based on some uh, other legislative issue that you insist has to be done just exactly the way you want it done. Well, I mean, every service chief has told the Congress that the military is at risk of winning in a high-end conflict in the state it's in today. At the end of the day, the Democrats have to recognize this, that it is on them if, in fact, this does not move forward. Well, the number one responsibility of the federal government is to defend the country. Uh, and with our important leadership in the world, it's also to help do what we can to maintain a, a, a peaceful world. And uh, we're not prepared to do that. We're asking young men and women to step forward and defend us uh, without giving them what they need. You know, we should never want uh, a, an American uh, service person to be in a fair fight. We want them to have every possible advantage, and they clearly are moving away from that long advantage they have had. Yeah. Uh, and we just need a number. We, we just need uh, Senator Schumer to step forward and get serious about agreeing on that number that they can support uh, and what else has to happen in the spending realm for that to happen. What he's done is try to elevate all of these spending issues to mm. every other issue, and that just does not work. He's trying to throw in as much spending as he can, figuring that the, the, uh, the conservatives are on their heels. Well, I 
we, who we don't want on our heels are the men and women right. who are defending us every day or the people that are dependent on the government being accessible and open. Uh, and uh, this is a foolish place uh, that uh, the Democrats in the Senate have, have forced uh, the country to, and, and I think they'll uh, change their mind on this uh, pretty quickly. All right, Senator, we'll be watching the developments. Thanks so much for the update this morning.